Well, howdy guys, how's it going? Um, as you can see at the start of this video, my shelter is already up. And that is because, uh, unfortunately, I was trying out a new lavalier mic. And the audio turned out like absolute hot dog water. Uh, so that's very unfortunate. I really want to take and throw that mic against the tree right now. But we will uh, we'll hold back on that. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take that footage and uh, put it in a quick little time lapse. Probably be two, three minutes, four minutes max. Uh, with some music behind it that's the plan in my head anyways hopefully i can make that work uh by you know compiling that together somehow but we missed a lot of talking talking points but after that time lapse um we'll start off right here where uh, we left off and i'll run over some of the key points of about the shelter and the, the idea and the concept behind it as well as what i used to make it if you you know if the video ends up being a little bit too fast through the time lapse and uh, i'll tell you about this new uh meal substitute thing that I'm trying um, and then we'll get our bed set up. Alrighty, welcome back. So hopefully that time lapse turned out okay. So yeah, this little meal replacement that I'm trying is a company called Rec Pack. It's like a 700 calorie meal. Uh, they only have three flavors right now. I've seen this because it packs down super small and light. You just add water and you know it's got a lot of carbohydrates it's got some protein in it and all that and i was a little worried when i first uh you know when i first got it that it was just going to be like a protein powder mix and i do not like chocolate but this right here tastes just like uh some nice milk chocolate hot chocolate uh drink mix and uh it's very very good okay so our shelter i used two of the extra large titan survival uh survival blankets you guys have seen me use it uh in our uh, jacket survival kit video and then we've used it as a ground cloth in the underground bushcraft shelter um, this shelter set up here is easily big enough to comfortably fit three people and if you really like one another you could fit four or five I wanted to go with like a wall tent construction but first when I come out here I didn't know how duct tape would do but duct tape sticks to this blanket phenomenally but it, it almost sticks too good because after you stick it on here it's not it's not really going to come off um, and so what I done was I got sticks slightly above knee high sharpened them down uh, after I run my ridge line, I just made some buttons with some uh, with some dirt uh, and then tied these together. Then I took and overlapped the second one, put some uh, strips of duct tape to hold that down. That's holding very well. And this has been in the sun now for about three hours. And this thing right here is super hot to the touch and that adhesive is staying just fine. Then I took and tied out that end to that tree right there just to pull that wall up. Then on this upper side, I just made another button here, brought it down to a stakeout point. And then on the front and back side, I put three rocks along the bottom because there was an excess amount. Like these XL emergency blankets are super large and stretchy. And everything has worked out great. The only reason this upper side has like a slight bit more sag, I mean, it's hardly not even noticeable, but it's because there's a slight slope right here to the ground. And I put this tarp up with this uh, blanket up first. So uh, I was going off of that height measurement where it comes down and, uh, you know, tapers up a bit here. Uh, that just led to this wall being a little bit lower. 
but that is fine. Uh, we're supposed to get some precipitation tonight. Nothing crazy. I didn't want to uh, test this uh, this shelter design out in an absolute downpour. But yeah, I mean, this is like I wanted a larger shelter too because this will reflect some heat, and it kind of is reflecting heat back off of this interior side. Like this shaded area is uh, nice and cool so that's good um and i've got that uh, other emergency blanket that i'd been using uh that we've been using as a ground cloth in my bag as well so we're going to get that out and put it on the ground as our base but yeah and now as far as the tools that i used to make this extremely simple bare minimum didn't even need the saw really it just makes things a lot quicker this is our uh, black fire hand saw then i just had took and wrapped some uh, duct tape around an old gift card container okay the tried and true jute twine and then the Lothar knife, another uh, another trip bringing it out, still holding its edge very well. I just brought my alcohol stove. It is getting quite a bit uh, warmer out. I mean, spring is definitely here. That's another reason why I really want to take and show you guys that uh, meal replacement thing, because that's something I think is going to be great once the weather starts to warm up. If you're on a hike or something, and you don't really feel like having, you know, a, a heavy, you know, solid meal. Uh, that would be a great uh, substitute but you still get a, a good amount of calories out of it. And then I had originally planned on like the design in my head of like having this, uh, you know, wall tent design uh, closed in. I mean, it's really just like a pup tent, uh, just it's an A-frame with walls. You know, there's a lot of different uh, terms you could use to describe it, but I'd planned on having it fully enclosed and using it in a colder weather setup, but the warmer weather has just kind of beat me to the punch. Um, but once, you know, this coming fall and winter rolls in, I would definitely do another setup like this maybe even on a larger scale um but that's why i'm leaving both ends open and nice because i want the breeze to be able to come through uh and you know just kind of kind of help keep things cooled off because it is going to get down to about 48 49 and then with the precipitation that'll put a little bit more of a chill in the air but we got our gore-tex bivy just in case things go sideways and the wooby uh, but i think we'll just be sleeping on top of the wooby in our sleeping pad because between this shirt and then the amount of heat that the uh, the bivy itself Holds in, we should be uh, good to go. All right, since we even put the stuff in here, this right here is just an example of how large this is. So if I take and I'm not even touching this sidewall. Oh, and I've still got plenty of clearance over by my feet. I've got plenty of clearance here. Uh, so you know, I like I said, easily fit three people comfortably, and then four people if you was really just going shoulder to shoulder. Um, and where, since it's just me in here, I didn't even think about this, but if I lay diagonal, that is, that's even more coverage. And everything looks really, really good. Alrighty, let's get our bed and stuff set up. So here's that other blanket we've already been using as a ground cloth quite a bit. Um, I'm actually going to go reflective side down. I mean, we got our sleeping pad, so we don't have to really worry about Reflecting body heat back. And then we'll kind of fold these corners up and around later. Uh, so if it starts raining, well, we got our Gore-Tex bib, we really don't have to worry anyways. We'll put our Wooby in here later on. I just want to go ahead and get the sleeping pad and the pillow inflated. Because uh, I took and uh, retreated this with more permethrin, so even though that we're kind of starting to get in a creepy crawly season, I'm not there. I have not noticed hardly any in this area. There was some black ants over there, but uh, like I said, I'm not really worried about that. So going ahead and getting this inflated, and then we'll just fold the, the lid of itself back over on top of itself. Thing will be dandy. Since I didn't have that large of a, uh, you know, of equipment and stuff to bring, I should have brought that Gear Doctor one that has the uh, the foam in it because I had plenty of room. But we're going with the tried and true, uh, just the thick air mattress. Still rocking this flex tail pump without charging it. So fingers crossed once again. I just like to firm it up a little bit with a couple of strong breaths and I took and just uh, self-inflated the pillow too while I was waiting on this. In comparison to just having like a lean-to or something, I mean it is nice having all this additional room in here. I 
I'm glad I actually did remember to bring the pillow this time because it's got this strap that goes over the pad to keep it from moving around on you too much. Okay, so we'll just fasten this up and I'll go ahead and get my bag under here so I don't forget about it uh, in case it starts precipitating while I got it hung up and then uh, I'm just going to chill out until it's time to uh, cook food. I am getting hungry and it's getting late so before it gets dark which I mean now it's getting dark at about like 7 45 8 somewhere between 7 45 and 8 o'clock we'll be using uh, my cubic alcohol stove for food got a nice can of chili and remember to bring the hot sauce again this time so we'll go get that out in a second oh wow that alcohol just got me cut mm, that feels really good and luckily right now it's not breezy so our food should heat pretty efficiently instead of using our uh, canteen cup today i'm gonna use this the vault can uh, 900 milliliter titanium pot and i'm hoping yes our can of chili has a pop top on it so we ain't got to screw around the can opener let's take and I'm just giving that time to seep in. We gotta wait and let it start and rise up through the jets. I'm just looking for a little stick or something to go. This should be a nice dry piece. Just give the stove a second to catch its breath. I'm going to tuck these in my pocket. Because yeah, I did find out you definitely don't want to uh, put anything on there until you until it starts to uh, catch up and uh, it gets it starts to fire up outside of the external ports. Alrighty, so that is kicked up nicely. Yeah, so we don't burn this. We're going to have to kind of just take this on and off and stir it, which isn't a big deal because that's better than having it really burn and stick to the bottom. I mean, it's already bubbling around the edges. Like the, between the intensity of that alcohol stove and then like how quickly titanium transfers heat, This is a pretty quick process. All right, that right there should be good. And I'm stuck to the bottom. And in a sense, we got ourselves a, a miniature campfire to go along with it. We got our good hot sauce here. The only thing is this hot sauce is bad to clog, like a lot more than, than others. There we go. Let's get that mixed in good.
just can't beat chili beans. It's one of the best all-time go-tos. Well, guys, I'm going to take and um, finish this. Then I'm going to go around and make sure I don't have any uh, small little things laying around that I need to uh, make sure you don't get covered up with uh, leaves or debris and just chill out for a bit. And I'll see you guys when it's time to... Uh, crawl in the old bivy sack. Alrighty guys, it is time to hit the hay, I do believe. So I'll definitely take my shemag and uh, put it over top of this pillow. Not that the pillow doesn't like, you know, lay good it's just that uh it's a lot it feels more comfortable to me personally to have you know cotton against the uh, side of my face or just my head versus that kind of synthetic plushness there's been a lot of planes flying around today Nothing been on here on the bag. Like I said, the meter is the way to go. Oh, I got my wooby right here beside me, but I really don't think I really don't think I'm gonna worry about that. Double checking, making sure there's nothing like underneath here that is going to be uncomfortable in the middle of the night. And I got these edges kind of pulled in. Should be good to go. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, I'm very, uh, very pleased with how this shelter turned out, considering the circumstances. I just hate that that audio issue happened, so I'm not sure, uh, how long this video is going to be when it's all said and done. But, but yeah, either way, I will, uh, I will talk to y'all in the morning whenever we get up. It's kind of early. It's just now about to be 10 o'clock, so. Probably wake up kind of early, and it's supposed to start raining any time between, uh, 2.30 and 5 a.m., so, uh, Without further ado, guys, good night. Oh, well, good morning, guys. Uh, last night was an extremely nice and uh, calm, peaceful night. It's still misting right now, but there ended up really being... No I mean, there was still just a very slight breeze, but for the most part, it was just really just really nice and calm it, it just it's been misting like this uh all night so i mean i don't know if you would really call it raining i guess like it's just a at the very end of the light rain um but there was no leaks the the duct tape stayed adhered to these uh titan survival blankets very very well the only thing i'm a little worried about is uh i should still be able to get some use out of these two as ground cloths Right when I say that, the rain is starting to pick up a little bit, but um, 
they repelled the moisture fine. Like, I, there's definitely no leakage. But, I mean, once again, it's not, it's not like we was in a torrential downpour by any means. But water, like, you know, did collect. Uh, it does add up over a continuous uh, series of hours, regardless of, like, how hard it's raining. Well, yeah, very, uh, very nice and relaxed. It's about 6.05 a.m. Like I said, I went to bed kind of early and getting up even earlier. So, I mean, I'll just... Uh, because I got this set up the way that I do, I'll be able to uh, get all my stuff packed up underneath here. Uh, nice and easy, tons of room to move around, and uh, then just throw the poncho on and get the other stuff. I'll just strip it down, wad it up into a ball, and jam it into this uh, open area right here because I didn't really store anything in there this time. But, so like right now, I don't know if you can see or if you can hear from where I got the thing set up. This right here is about the hardest that it ever got to last night in terms of uh, precipitation. But yeah, I mean, like I said, for two survival blankets that uh, could easily fit in your cargo pocket and then just that one little uh, wrapped up thing of duct tape that could also fit in your pocket. I mean, you can have one heck of a uh, one heck of an emergency shelter sh uh, set up in no time. So really pleased with it. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So, uh, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Share the channel with your friends, family, anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities. Uh, you can check the links in the descriptions to uh, a lot of the gear that I use. It's it's down there um, if you want to check it out for yourself. There's also links to my two other YouTube channels if you're interested. Um, and then uh, feel free to hit me up in that comment section with uh, thoughts, opinions, suggestions, or... Uh your recommendations, anything like that. Um, so you guys, uh, until the next one, adios.